Hi everyone, me again, and today I am doing my, this is going to be my top 10 favourite films of 2015. And this is my first top 10 list um, of films of the year. And I am really, really excited to do it. one o'clock um, and yeah I'm sorry it's the 8th of February I know and I haven't seen all the big Oscar nominated films like The Revenant I haven't seen that or Carol or The Big Shot um, films that I would like to see um, but there's not I can do really well but anyway, this is my top 10 list, and I would have gone to go see those films, or I would go, but the video would be put on a bit too late to do the list. I mean, I'm pushing it now. So anyway, it's my top 10 list, but first, an honourable mention, because it came back to cinemas, and um, it didn't come out in 2015. But it's the Back to the Future trilogy. Now, I grew up with these. They're amazing. I love them. Can watch them any day, any time. Just perfect. And to watch these back, to see them on the big screen, that's a dream come true. Uh, I cannot praise these enough. So yeah, Back to the Future trilogy. If you've not seen them, definitely give them a watch. And anyway. Um, if you're wondering about my top 10 worst list, I don't know if there'll be 10 of them, but, um, it'll be, it'll be on its way. I need to sort that one out. But anyway, my favourite film, films list. Number 10 is The Avengers Age of Ultron. Now, some of you may not know that I was not a big fan of the first Avengers film. I thought it was cool, I thought it was cool twice okay I thought I did think it was a decent film first time I saw it loved it and then I watched it a bit more and I thought it's not as good as people are making it out to be um, there's a bit too much dialogue going on and I don't don't get me wrong it is good it does tell the story but it was just a bit too slight in parts for me whereas Age of Ultron had a lot more action and when it was and when the were when it was just dialogue, it it was interesting. I I got into the film. I love the characters. The casting's fantastic. And yeah, I, I thought it was better than the first one. So I'd recommend it. A lot of people would say it's not as good, but see for yourself and get your own opinion. Uh, number nine, straight out of Compton. Now, um, NWA is one, one, one of the greatest rap groups, if not the greatest rap group, in, in my opinion. And this film was just amazing. Um, it, it was horrible what, what they had to go through, but um, it, it was just so good. And what, what they did was amazing. Um, the music is great, it, and it, I, I was just speechless at the end of it. It's two and a half hours. I've not seen the director's cut yet, but wow. Um, again, if you've not seen it, definitely check it out. Whether you're a fan of NWA or not, give it a watch. Uh, number eight is another Marvel film, Ant-Man. Hang on. My family just walked in, and so uh, yeah, uh, just finished. Oh, let, let's get this done. Um, so yeah, number eight, Ant Man. Um, this is the other Marvel film that came out this year. Um, what what a cool film! This wall, this film was a lot of fun, and that's what I that's what I like in Marvel films is. That's why I love Guardians of the Galaxy so much, is because it is so much fun, great soundtrack, great visuals, and that's what Ant-Man was. Ant-Man was one of the biggest surprises to me, and uh, because 
I f well, I don't really know much about Ant-Man anyway. I always thought, uh, it's not going to be that good. But no, it was, and it it was just amazing. Um, so much fun, and Thomas the Tank Engine's in the film. <laughs> it's just brilliant. So, if you've not seen Ant-Man, check it out. It's Marvel. Marvel's getting really, really good now. It's brilliant. At uh, number seven, a uh, film that I watched really recently, Legend, with Tom Hardy about the Trace Twins. Now, again, fantastic film. Um, I don't know what why I like this more. I just, I don't know. Just, I love gangster films. Um, and th this one, what it was so interesting. Um, and it, it was intense in parts, it was really, really intense. Well, I, I thought it was, and um, again, if you've not seen it, check it out. I'm going to try and make this a short, short earth video. Um, the next one um, is from Oscar season, and um, it's Tarantino's The Hateful Eight. Now, the thing is about this film, it was great, don't get me wrong, brilliant film, but it was a bit slow in parts. In parts, it was really slow. Um, like the first hour and a half, we're just talking, but it was good. I, I, I like these characters. But I don't know what it was. It it just didn't, it didn't seem as good as some of his other films. But um, the soundtrack's cool. Um, I, I do love the characters, um, and it is three hours long, so there's a lot of time for, for the characters and everything, and yeah, again, brilliant film, so it, it's one I'll definitely be picking up on Blu-ray, so yeah, it's a good film. Um, the next one is surprising in I, I was quite surprised at this one. It's Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. Um, it's I, I've never been. I mean, I, I was a f a big fan of the first Mission Impossible. Second one was pretty naff. Third one was okay. Fourth one was okay. And this one was just amazing. Um, this is what I wanted from a Mission Impossible film: edgy action all the way through. It's funny, it's action packed, it's intense, it's everything you need in a spy film. And this was everything. Um, definitely give it a watch. If, if especially if you've seen the other four, then yeah. Um, there might be there probably is too many in the franchise. There is gonna be a six, another one, number six. Um, but just because there's so many of them, don't let it put you off. Definitely give this a watch. It's a pretty strong sequel. Next one, um, I was, I didn't know what to expect, but it was Ex Machina. Um, took took me completely by surprise. As soon as I put it on, I was just hooked. It was amazing. Um, the writer of Twenty Eight Days Later, which is another great film, if you've not seen it, um, and the visuals. She, she looked absolutely fantastic and the, the there's like three characters in this film and it's all in one place it's all filmed in one place and or the majority of it and it's so unpredictable you have no idea what's going to happen unless you're really smart um, I, I, I didn't know where it was going I didn't know how they were going to do it but it it really is. There's a lot of twists and turns in this film. You're not sh quite sure wh where it's going, and that's that was this film. That that was everything. It was brilliant. So yeah, um, give it a watch. Fantastic. Uh, number three is Inside Out. Pixar is back. I haven't seen the Good Dinosaur, um, but there will be a review of it when I get it on Blu-ray ne um, next month. 
Um, but yeah, uh, saw this in the cinema. Um, I was excited for it. Um, but then I thought, is it really going to be that good? Because the past few, uh, Cars 2 was terrible. Brave was better. Monsters University was, again, it was better. It, I quite enjoyed it. But Inside Out is one of the best Pixar has done in years. It, um, it's really good. I, I, it, it's, it's weird because it's quite a complicated film, but kids will understand it. An adult, and it's not um, too simple. It is quite a complicated. It's quite complicated when you really think about it. But kids will understand what's going on. Grown-ups will understand what's going on, and they will both love it equally. And um, again, give it a watch. It's unbelievable. Now, um, number two is Star Wars The Force Awakens. Um, I never used to be a fan of Star Wars when I was a kid. We're talking when I was about six, seven, eight. But my cousin used to come around so we had to watch it all the time. And, um, and my brother was a big fan. He's um, the, the bigger fans of Star Wars than I am. But as life went on, I, I decided to put them on at one point and really, really enjoyed them. It was the monsters, it was just the story, it was everything. Uh, the lightsaber battles were incredible, they still are. And to find out that there was more coming, I cannot wait for the next one. I am lo still looking forward to Rogue One. Um, but yeah, um, fantastic. I, I want it on Blu-ray, really want it now. <laughs> so yeah. Even if you're not a Star Wars fan, give it a watch because I, I reckon you'll probably enjoy it. And my number one pick was actually the first film I saw last year. And it is a 2015 film. And it is Kingsman The Secret Service. Now I love, now I like spy films but this was, this has to be the best spy film I've ever seen. Um, I mean, it, I was just speechless at the end of the film, because I, I was excited for it, really wanted to go see it, and it was even better than I thought it would be. And it's got Colin Firth, Sam, Samuel L. Jackson, and Michael Caine, and the, the kid that they got was absolutely fantastic, and he's going on to bigger things, to more films. And I'm so happy about that because he was, he really is a good actor. And this film just shows how talented this director is, Matthew Vaughn. I love Kick Ass, and I thought that this was so much better than Kick Ass. Um, it's literally everything. It's suspenseful, it's funny, it's gory. It tells a good story, and there's more coming, and I cannot wait for for the next one. Um, so, yeah, I was just speechless. I, I'm speechless now. Um, it was just brilliant. It didn't take itself too seriously. It looked like a mediocre kind of spy film, but it was anything but it. It's its own thing. So, yeah, um, everyone watch it. Yeah, that's all I can say. And one more honourable mention is Spectre. While it wasn't as good as, say, Skyfall or Casino Royale, at least in my opinion, it's still worth a watch. It was, I thought it was better than Quantum of Solace, so yeah, I'm a big Bond fan and it was good. It didn't feel overly long either. It was, it was a good film. But yeah, Thank you. I uh, just want to say thank you very much for watching this video and please do not forget to rate, comment and subscribe.